Good afternoon, YouTube. So I've made a few videos recently talking about sunglasses I use for my bike rides. Since I bought my first road bike back in 1974, I've primarily used cheap sunglasses like this over here, just whatever I had available. I've probably gone through dozens of pairs over those years. You know, the cheaper the better. thinking that a cheap sunglass is no different than an expensive one. They both do the same job. They cut down the light. They protect your eyes. I was firmly in the cheap sunglass camp. About eight to ten years ago, I started riding more challenging terrain and more challenging conditions. So I started going off the pavement and doing gravel and dirt rides and started to ride some of the mountain bike trails up in the mountains and with the more technical terrain and the mix of shade and sun and going in and out of deep shade and back into the sun these glasses here just didn't cut it anymore in the shade they were too dark so that's where i went to the tofosi sunglasses so let me start out by saying this isn't sponsored by Tofosi. I'm not saying that they have the best brand. It's just this is what I have. I have some experience with their glasses and tints and lenses. And so I'm just using these as an example to compare against these. So these are cycling specific glasses. These are just cheap sunglasses. I don't know where I bought these. I think I got these at the hardware store. For most things, riding out on a paved bike lane in the full sun, either of these work fine. But when I recently switched over to trying a set of these cycling specific glasses, I found there were two main areas where these are different than these. First area is the optics, and then the second area is the ergonomics, or how well do the glasses fit. So looking at the optics first, what I notice with both of these glasses, they do what a sunglass does. They reduce the brightness of the sun. I don't know what the particular shade is on these. That's one thing with cheap sunglasses. They usually don't tell you what shade they are and you don't get a choice. You buy this glass and that's what it comes with. I showed you in the previous video where I took these and changed them from photo gray to a fixed shade. And then these are, of course, the new glasses that have a photo gray lens. So that's one difference is that you can pick the exact shade, either of a fixed shade or a photo gray. You have a choice here the next one, I find that the quality of the lenses in these cheap sunglasses is not as good as these glasses. So two things I notice. One is with either of these glasses, if I put them on, the light intensity is reduced, but I also notice the contrast and colors are reduced. So things just kind of look murky with these glasses. So, for example, if you look at a tree without the glasses or with these glasses, you can see the individual leaves and they're like a bright green color. You put these glasses on, the bright green fades and the leaves all blend into each other. The tree looks kind of like a big green blob, where with these glasses, you can still see the individual leaves or... If you're riding on a dirt or rocky trail, you can see rocks and shadows and leaves and twigs and sticks, and you can tell all those things apart. So it's probably just comes down to the quality of the pigment that they use to tint the lens. I don't know specifics, but these are very murky looking. They just like they're dirty, but you can clean these lenses until they sparkle and they still look murky. So that's one thing. The other thing I notice with both of these glasses, if you put them on and leave them on for a while, your eyes feel strained or kind of tired. And I think it's partly due to that contrast. I think your eyes are trying to focus 
when you're using your camera and the autofocus kind of goes back and forth, I think your eyes are trying to focus and get the contrast back, but they can't because these lenses are just murky. The instant you put either of these glasses on or these glasses, you just feel your eyes relax just instantly. It's hard to describe, but I go out and ride four to six hours on the weekend on a single ride. And if I'm riding six hours and my eyes are straining versus riding six hours and my eyes feel relaxed at the end of that, that makes a big difference in comfort. So that's the optics side of things. So then the, the other big factor is the ergonomics. So these glasses, they're well used, so your nose bridge is just part of the frame. It's just plastic, and the ear pieces are just kind of a rubbery plastic thing, but they're not adjustable. They're just bendy. These, same thing. There's your nose bridge. It's just fixed part of the frame, and the ear pieces are just sort of bendy plastic. They're springy. They don't stay. The fit of these glasses is whatever it is. If they fit you, great. If it doesn't fit you, you're out of luck. you got to buy a new pair of glasses because these aren't adjustable. These glasses have an adjustable nose bridge. The nose pads can be bent in or out. You can change these out if they wear out. They're rubber coated and they have a slight texture to them. So these really stick on your nose. And then likewise, the ear pieces are adjustable. You can bend these in and they stay in. You can bend them out and they stay out. So you can adjust these to fit your head and your face. And the other thing that helps with is when you're riding a drop bar bike, your head is usually down. That's your normal riding position and the glasses are hanging down off the front of your face most of the time rather than up horizontal like they would be if you're walking or running. So you're riding down a bumpy road, you've got your head down and the glasses are hanging off of your face. Well these glasses used to ride down my nose and then you'd have to push them back up and they'd ride down and you push them up. It was just a constant battle trying to keep these things on because the nose bridge is just slippery plastic on your sweaty nose. So these are the Tofosi podium glasses. They're very similar to these tinted safety glasses that I've also used. But one of the problems is these lenses fit your face so tight that it traps heat behind the glass and around your eyes. So your eyes get really hot and sweaty and then you get sweat dripping down in your eyes and if you ever had that that can really burn, and that was the problem with these lenses. And I also had that same issue with these. So what I used to do was, if I was on a long climb, I would take these glasses off and put them on my helmet. And then when I got to the top of the hill, I'd put the glasses back on because I would sweat in these. So one little tiny feature of these Tifosi crit glasses. You can probably see right there, there's two little vent holes and there's a third one over here. They look like little tiny holes, but those things make a big difference. I can eat these glasses on, climbing, descending. I put them on at the beginning of the ride and I take them off at the end of the ride. That was one feature I specifically picked with these new glasses is these have ventilation so there there is a difference now you can probably find any one of these features in a lower cost sunglass but if you want to find all those features in a lower cost sunglass you're probably not going to find it not pushing this brand it's just that i'm familiar with the shades now i've gone through several different shades i know which one works for me the glasses fit me, and I like the fact that you can buy replacement parts. So I'm sure there's other brands out there that 
have those same attributes. I just have stuck with one because it's worked for me and if it, it's not broken, don't fix it. And along those lines, if these or these work for you, great. Save your money and use it on something else. But if you're finding limits with your cheap sunglasses, something like this is definitely worth the investment, at least what I've found. So if you've ever uh, switched over to cycling specific sunglasses and have any comments on that, post up in the comments section below. And as always, thanks for watching.